Hey there, I'm Ari from the Tech Buyers Guru, and I've got a timely and important video for you here on the channel today. It's all about how you can use your PC to help fight the coronavirus pandemic. Now, in my previous video, I did talk about how the pandemic had taken a toll on the PC market. Well, think of this as the PC strikes back, the way that PCs can fight the coronavirus pandemic directly. And that's by using the Folding at Home application. Now, this was designed many years ago by scientists at Stanford University to map the proteins of various diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's disease. Well, they've recently released an update to Folding at Home that allows you to prioritize research into a COVID-19 vaccine. They're mapping the outer surface of the virus itself to find its weaknesses and pinpoint where we can get through its defenses. Now, to be clear, this is a buyer's guide about equipping a PC to help fight coronavirus using Folding at Home. It's not to build a Folding at Home PC because the whole concept behind Folding at Home is to use spare clock cycles or unused PC power to help fight disease. The spirit of the application is that you just contribute what you can. It's not about building a PC to run 100% folding at home all the time. Although you can do that, the PC that you'd use for that purpose wouldn't be very good for much else. You'd get a really huge case with a bunch of video cards in it, a tiny CPU with very little power, almost no RAM, a tiny solid state drive, or maybe even a hard drive, and a giant power supply. I'm not recommending you do that because you're not going to enjoy using that for anything else. Instead, I suggest you actually build or equip your PC in a balanced fashion so that you can get the most out of it when you actually need to use it. And when you're not using it, Folding at Home can take advantage of its power. Let's start with the size of PC that you want to build. Now, a lot of people are interested in the small form factor market, and I don't blame them. I think this is a great way to start, particularly if you already have a PC and you want to build another PC to run Folding at Home from time to time. It doesn't take up much space, and it's a lot of fun to build. If you want something a little bit bigger, I suggest a mid-tower like this Purebase 500 from Be Quiet. It's a great all-around case. It's quiet, it's cool, and it's actually really inexpensive. The only trouble right now is it's hard to find in stock because it's so popular. Now, if you really want to go all out with a high-end system that's also going to fight the coronavirus pandemic, you could go with the Cooler Master H500P Mesh, which is a system I'm using to fight coronavirus. It's a large tower case. It has a lot of ventilation, a lot of space for video cards and high-end coolers. While Folding at Home can actually utilize both CPUs and GPUs to fight disease, and will do so by default, I suggest you actually modify the application, as I'll show you how to in a moment, to just use your GPU. CPUs are actually not very effective at fighting disease. They're not parallel processors the same way that GPUs are, and any distributed computing application actually does a lot more good using the GPU. You don't want to drive your CPU to 100% and get a whole lot less done than you do with your GPU. So let's focus on just equipping a PC for great general purpose use and then focus on the video card for folding at home purposes. I recommend the Ryzen 5 3600 from AMD. It's a great general purpose CPU, six cores, 12 threads. It'll get done almost anything you need to get done on a PC and it comes in under $200. Now, if you really do want to run all of your processing power at 100%, you're going to have to upgrade your CPU's cooling. As much as I like the Wraith Stealth that AMD supplies with the Ryzen 5 3600, it's totally inadequate for running Folding at Home because Folding at Home will push your CPU to 100% at all times. It's a massive load on the CPU. And this cooler will just buzz away at maximum RPM and just totally annoy you. So frankly, if you do want to use your CPU for Folding at Home, you've got to upgrade the cooler. The minimum cooler I recommend is the Freezer 34 Duo from Arctic. It's a fantastic cooler. It comes in around $50 and it will definitely tame the heat output of your CPU, assuming you're using a Ryzen 5 3600. Now, if you're using something a lot more powerful to run Folding at Home, again, it's not particularly efficient to do so. You're going to need even higher level uh, cooling power. I'm actually using a 360 millimeter liquid cooler on my Core i9-9900K and it's still hitting 80 degrees Celsius. So that gives you an indication of the kind of cooling power you might need if you're running a CPU at 100%. Now, how about the GPU? For Folding at Home, really the ideal GPU is probably the Radeon RX 5700 XT from AMD. It comes in around $400 and has a lot of power for this type of application. You can also go with NVIDIA. I really like their GeForce RTX 2070 Super at about $500. Now, I'm personally using an RTX 2080 Ti, which comes in around $1,100. And again, I don't recommend you run out and buy that just to run Folding at Home. It is a great gaming 
GPU. So if you're interested in that type of high-end system, go ahead and pick one up. I'll show you how it fights coronavirus using Folding at Home in a moment. Now, the other factors you're going to have to consider besides the power of your GPU are the cooling capacity of your system and your power supply. Let's talk about cooling first. A lot of cases actually have fans included, but you may want to augment the cooling capacity of your system by adding additional fans to your case. When you're running a GPU at 100% load for many hours straight, it really produces a lot of heat and you don't want that to get trapped in your system. Now, I'm a big fan, no pun intended, of the Bionics F140 and F120 fans from Arctic. These are very affordable, very effective, and very quiet as well. In terms of the power supply, you want to focus on both efficiency and power output. Let's start with efficiency first. At minimum, you want to go with something gold rated, but frankly, a lot of the gold rated power supplies are sold out. So you may want to step up to something like a platinum rated power supply. It's a little bit more efficient at full load, and it's a good investment for a PC for the long term. In terms of wattage, if you're using something like the Radeon RX 5700 XT or the RTX 2070 Super that I recommended, those are going to be pulling about 200, 220 watts at full load. So combined with the rest of your PC, you're, you're going to be using about 300, maybe 350 watts. So at minimum, you want a 550 watt power supply. Now, the power supplies I'm recommending at this point are the ST series from Silverstone, available in 550 watt all the way up to 1500 watt units. Now, let me show you where you can download the Folding at Home application and how you should set it up for most effective use. So here's the Folding at Home homepage. Lots to learn about here, but I'm just gonna click Start Folding Now. That gives me the Download Now button and it auto detects Windows and gives me the EXE for download. You can also get it for Linux and Mac. So now I'm actually gonna show you how my system runs the Folding at Home application to fight COVID-19. As I said, I'm actually running a RTX 2080 Ti GPU and I actually also have a Core i9-9900K CPU from Intel. These are pretty powerful components, but also suck down a lot of power in terms of wattage. So I'm going to actually talk about that as well as I run through the application and show you what it looks like loading up the PC. So I'll be back in a second. Once you start the app, you'll actually be taken to this web interface, which is really simple. It makes it easy to select which disease you want to prioritize, and it also makes it really easy to just start folding. Of course, all you need to do is press the button. But I actually prefer to use the app's native interface, which they call the advanced control. It allows me to do things like click finish, which completes a task and then shuts down. You can also then identify slots like your CPU and GPU. And here I can adjust to zero CPU cores, which would be my preference. But let me show you the resources that are being used by Folding at Home by default. Clearly, my CPU is 100%. My memory is barely being impacted. Only about 100 megabytes is going towards Folding at Home. Now my GPU registers at about 47%, but by using MSI Afterburner, I can monitor this a little bit more accurately. It actually shows about 90% usage, and that's because 10% is being used by the video application itself for me to record this screenshot for you. So actually it'll be closer to 100% if you're using Folding at Home and nothing else on your system. Now all of that means you have a very heavy load on the system and you're gonna be concerned about both power and cooling. I'm actually using over 500 watts when I have my system running at full bore, but that's a 9900K and a 2080 Ti GPU. With the system that I suggested earlier in this video, you'd be closer to 300 or 350 watts. In my testing, I found that my CPU was pulling about 150 watts at full load while my GPU was pulling just under 300 watts. At the same time, the 2080 Ti was accomplishing between 10 and 50 times more work than the CPU. Now, Folding at Home actually allows me to visualize the work being done by my processor. So here's my CPU working on a model of coronavirus. You can see there's 42 minutes left here. I'm 58% done. And you can see the level of detail of this model. It actually looks fairly complex. But let's switch over to what my GPU is doing, and you'll see it's really orders of magnitude greater. So here's what my 2080 Ti is modeling. Again, it's about a two hour project. I have an hour and 20 minutes left. And you can see it's just a much more sophisticated model, a lot more work being done by the 2080 Ti. So just for the sake of saving electricity, just shut down the CPU and folding it home. So to review, there's three areas you're gonna to have to really focus on if you're building a PC to help fight COVID-19 using folding at home. First, you'll have to think about the size of the system you wanna build, either ITX, mid-sized ATX or a full-size ATX system. Next, you're gonna to have to think about GPU power. How much are you willing to spend on that video card to fight COVID-19 and potentially play some games on the side? I suggest a minimum budget of $400 to really do your part to fight COVID-19, and that starts with the RX 5700 XT from AMD. 
The last thing you really need to focus on is the power supply. I recommend gold rated at a minimum, but frankly, platinum rated is probably a better bet and it's actually easier to find in stock right now. If you have any questions about this video, please post them down below. As always, I'm Ari from Tech Buyers Guru and I'll catch you next time.